until you try it. That's right. No, not until you try it. But here we're going to have Wizzy versus Barbie here. Wizzy, one of the best Project M players. Um, best Sonic, probably? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, by results, I think it's safe to say he's the best Sonic. <laughs> There's also Lilu and ES Vino. Those guys are really, really good with Sonic as well. But, uh, yeah, I'd say, you know, that CEO win really just kind of pushes Wizrobe over the top. And, fittingly, I think Barbie is a zero suit Samus main. It's funny because I've called her Barbie quite a few times. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it's good to see someone out here repping that character. She's a bit underplayed herself. Or, no, oh, he's Samus. Right. Okay. Obviously, you can pick zero suit on the character select screen. So, I was like, oh, he's... Samus, you know, he must be holding R and picking Zero Suit, but totally fine. You don't have to do that anymore. All right, so ooh, Barbie yeah. with a strong start right now. Yeah, this matchup Sonic has to be careful because his attacks aren't quite as disjointed as um, other characters. If he comes in with his approaches, Sa Samus with space tilts and even um, yeah, with space normals, even you know, can make it really hard for Sonic to approach since the you know the hurt box and the hit boxes overlap. And also, <gasps> oh, oh no, we pause. have a pause situation, oh, and no. Wizzy takes it. That's a shame, man. Barbie was doing so well in that first stock. Let's see if he can keep it up. Hopefully his momentum doesn't get crushed there. Oh, nice bomb. Man. And the up throw to up air. That's definitely going to work, even on Super Floaty Samus. Sonic has some really, really solid combos. Absolutely. Around this percent, Wizzy has to be careful with his approaches because Barbie can crouch cancel, down smash him off stage, and set up for potentially an edge guard. But right now we have Wizzy trying to edge guard this Samus. That, yeah, that tether reaches from so far away, making it hard for Wizzy to edge guard. Goes with the drop and refresh too, trying to throw him off, maybe compel Wizzy to get off the edge so he didn't have to deal with that hop over. But Wizzy, you know, smart, patient, just stayed on there, picked it up, and he's definitely taking this lead pretty far. Yeah, the smart thing to do whenever your opponent has a tether is just to stay on the edge. They'll be forced to recover above you on stage, and there you'll have your opportunity to strike with the ledge hop attack. Yep, and, uh, you know, the character on the tether can't wait it out forever, so that's definitely one of the biggest keys to edge guarding against them. A lot of people seem to think the tethers are really powerful in this game, and, I mean, to their credit, they are definitely powerful, but unbeatable, I'm not so sure. Uh, Wizzy doing a solid job, 168%, four stocks, and it's Barbie just having a tough time dealing with that spin dash pressure. Nice combination with those homing oh attacks. My God. Wow, Wizzy. And he spins right to the edge, too. He burned his jump in the process. I thought, you know, maybe out of the spin. Oh, very edge smart. guard. Again, he and misses again. and repeats. Yes. Beautiful job by Wizrobe. Three stocks, still at 168%, and he gets sent off with a forward tilt. Look at them legs, girl. My and <laughs> that's that practice from uh, Florida's own ESAM, CT's own ESAM even. Uh, this man plays Samus and he's really good and he's in the same state as Wizrobe, so I'm sure he's well versed in this matchup. Whereas I'm correct. not sure if Barbie has any idea what to do about Sonic, but he had a really strong start, so. Yeah, and fortunately, um, another thing too, Wizzy practices with Plup a lot and Plup mm. does have a Samus. Uh, PM Samus even, even though he doesn't bring him um, Samus out too much in tournament as he's a Meta Knight main. Still, um, Wizzy gets enough practice. Yeah, and of course, whatever Plup's skill is in Melee is of course going to translate over. And Samus has received nothing but improvement since Melee. Uh, oh, the spike. Man. Wow. All right. Really good finish from CT Wizrobe. It looked like, you know, he was uh, not so certain about how he was going to do at first, but just took that pause stock. You know, you got to take that, man. It's a tournament. Play to win. Even if uh, some people might, you know, give you a little bit of flack for it, like, oh, come on, man, he paused the game, like, nah, dude, rules are rules. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. You know, I don't even think Wizzy said anything, to be quite honest, because I looked in his direction when yeah. the guy paused, Wizzy had a stone face, yeah. and the guy just went off stage. I guess he felt sad, you know, he's like, Respect oh. to him, though, for yeah. just being like, oh, man, can I please keep it? Nah, nah, he was just like, he didn't right, even I'm going to hold anything. that, I'm going to hold that. Yeah. You got to respect people who are down to just hold that and, and proceed on, and... You know, Barbie not getting too hung up on his loss, it seems. It has a strong start once again. Picking WarioWare, I think uh, this is a wise choice. Sonic has a lot less room to move around. Wow, amazing yeah. first stop. That bomb into the up tilt. And I love the fact that um, he got that, um, that he chose this stage. Since the blast zones are closer, it's going to be relatively easy for Barbie to get those kills. Exactly. Sam is normally not a high KO power character, but on this stage, he's really scary. Especially in ice mode with the up smash and forward air, they knock you pretty far. And we saw Barbie switch from fire to ice in the later stages of the last match, but for now it looks like he's sticking with fire, and he had the opportunity, you know, between stocks to switch, but I think 
that's the, uh, the matchup of choice right now. And I'm seeing a lot of smart stuff from Barbie. Apparently the bombs can stop Sonic out of his spin dash. Yes, they can. Yep, this makes it tougher for Wizzy to fall back on his usual spin dash pressure. That's his uh, go-to when it comes to approaching most matchups. And Wizzy has such solid edge guards, man. Even just keeping it simple, you know, for the easy edge hogs and stuff, he's just on the ball, man. And also, I've seen some amazing tether edge guards from him just in this, you know, like 1.2 games that he's been on the stream for. He really knows how to deal with that tether. And also, he knows how to combo Samus, which is a skill in itself. Relatively well. Um, with that down B, he'll turn around and then just jump cancel and try to see if he can convert into a nair, a uh, back air, or any attack even. Nice space for tilts for setting the situation, getting Samus off stage. You have to be patient against this character, you know? Yeah, absolutely. If you rush in at the wrong time, you're just going to eat that crouch cancel to down smash, crouch cancel to down tilt. Up B out of shield, man. If she blocks anything, she can punish a lot. That's that's one of the scariest dragon punches in this game, man. And a funny thing, too, is even when you're edge guarding Samus, you have to be patient, you know? Yeah, because she can stall for so long. Bomb jumps, tethers now. Her tether is super, super long. I've seen Samus recover from disgusting lengths with that thing. And here we go. Was he getting around that crouch cancel? Samus has the crouch cancel active as she's rolling around in, in the morph ball. Yep, that crawl cancel, basically. I think that's one of the most useful parts of crawling in this game. It's still a very, very underutilized technique, by the way. Um, being that you're moving and crouch canceling, and in Samus's case, shrinking your hurt box, and pretty much everyone, you know, since you get low to the ground. So uh, look out for some, you know, developments in the crawling metagame as PM progresses. And, and here we go. Wizzy being really aggressive with these edge guards. Wow, if he tried to grab the edge, that would have been really bad leaving him at two stocks, but he's in a good position. Throws Barbie up in the air. Should have gone for the up B. Would have given him the distance he needed to get that up air. And, you know, on this stage, since the platforms on the side go all the way up to the top, characters like Sonic can go for that up B up air and then land on the platform, have all their jumps refresh, and then go for another one and just roof you super low because the boundaries are also small. Oh, wow! wow. And it looked like Wizzy tried his best to DI that as you saw him veer off to the right. But good job, Barbie. Did he? I don't think he did the taunt to switch his... I don't think yeah. so. Nah, he didn't, he didn't switch the ice. That was just a taunt. Just oh! For, just for style. Yeah. And we're hanging out on the edge, but Wizzy throwing out that horse kick from Sonic. Such a good edge guarding tool. I believe it still has two hits. Uh, so it's got a lot of active frames. And it just pushes your opponent off at that really convenient angle. You know, it doesn't knock them off too far. You can still set up for edge guards. You can still gimp them like that. Especially characters like Fox and Falco just knocks him down so far because they fall. But Samus, very floaty, very different story. It looks like uh, Sonic even can beat the crouch cancel down smash attempts with his down B. As you saw, Barbie was pushed back a little. But oh, here we go. Barbie putting something together here with these combos. All right. Oh, got the forward air to start, but just kind of backed off. Didn't want to continue chasing him off the stage. Just be safe. You know, you've got a stock lead. Oh, almost down airs right into that down smash, but Barbie a little slow on the reaction. Nice patience by Wizzy, just trying to immediately grab the ground, maintain stage control, but Barbie right now, nice conversion wow. with the up tilt to bear. Wow. Didn't have enough time to charge that charge shot, just got a little bit. And now he's forced off stage. Wizzy waiting for the tether. Barbie tends to do two of them. He'll yeah. do one, fake it, do a fake out, and do the other. See, I mean, that's good in some respects because it could psych your opponent out, but also you burn two out of your three offstage tether allotments, so you really got to be careful with that because Wizzy knows if he knocks him off, he's only got to prevent the tether one more time, and then he's forced to up B. That's correct. And Wizzy on the verge of taking this set right now. That's not it, though. Yep, he's quite contentious for tilting Samus offstage over and over again until Samus is KO'd. He doesn't have to worry about knockback deterioration. And there it is. Barbie not even letting him uh, feel the satisfaction of the victory screen. He's like, all right, I know I'm dead.